When local photographer Sean Connor noticed that he had some double vision, he suspected he might have a medical issue that needed attention. And while driving to his MD, he wondered if the weird symptom might be a result of a minor neck injury he previously suffered. But little did he know, he was on the verge of a diagnosis that would forever change his life. I ran to the computer and Googled chordoma, clivochordoma, and when it came up and I started reading about it, it was like very shocking. It was a very deadly tumor that, that I had. And it took me a while to realize that it was going to be quite a, quite a battle. Within a couple of weeks, Sean was on a journey that would only buy him some time. The tumor is a complicated mass that weaves its way through veins and arteries. It pushes nerves controlling many vital functions as it continues its insidious journey. Sean went to one of the few places in the U.S. that can deal with this type of cancer. It's a state-of-the-art facility called Loma Linda in San Bernardino, California. The advanced proton therapy at the facility was perhaps the only treatment for the relentless cancer Sean has. Because the uh, proton beams are uh, being uh, directed into my head, they had to keep my head very still. So when I first got there, they, uh, they made this mask up. And what, uh, what it does is, uh, when I'm lying in the gantry, uh, they actually sort of bolt me into position and this holds me very steady as the proton beams are being uh, administered. Everything happened fairly quickly because it was starting to do damage. It was affecting my speech, it was affecting my eyesight, and it was, it was beginning to press against my, uh, you know, all the nerve centers in my head, my, uh, you know, um, uh, sometimes I can't remember things. Um, well, it was my brainstem was being affected as well. All of a sudden, I went from you know working at a busy newspaper to being an expert on on medical procedures and and on proton radiation treatment. And yeah, it's it's definitely changed my life in that respect. This is a bonus, and this is what goes on the end of the proton beam uh, machine. And what it does is it controls the depth that the beam goes into my head and, and the depth of the tumor that's, that's being radiated. So proton beam goes in here and it stops at these levels and radiates the tumor and hopefully destroys it. The tumor has done its damage as well. It's damaged my speech center. Um, and some of the treatment that I had also has damaged parts of, you know, it's, done, it's damaged my hearing. There will be ongoing medical issues from the radiation treatment as I go forward. So I'll have to balance those out with, with how I can, I can do in the future. A new change in health is organic blue of lava. While it could take up to 20 years for the tumor to return, Sean has been told reoccurrence is almost inevitable. And if it occurs in the same place, doctors won't be able to treat it. Sean is hopeful for at least seven years of borrowed time. Up until this point, I hadn't really given it much thought. You know, I figured I had 70 years, 80 years, who knows. Um, life turns on a dime really quickly. That, that saying is so true. And I hadn't, you know, it always happens to someone else, but this time it happened to me. And I wasn't expecting it. But now that it has happened to me, I gotta continue on as best I can. There will be a fundraiser for Sean Thursday, February 2nd at the Kelowna Community Theatre from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. Admission is by donation and will include performances by Sherman Doucette and Deb Stone. Call 250-808-0131 for more details. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.